the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Hey, everybody, God bless you. I hope you enjoyed chapter 45 in Genesis, and I pray that you continue to just grow in the Lord, read the word of God, experience the experience it with them. That's, that's the whole point. It was written so you can experience it. It was written for you can can can, can understand how God was, was moving uh, on the behalf of Jacob, which is whose name changed to Israel, and then Joseph and and his brothers, and these are the 12, they will make up the 12, 12 tribes of Israel that that uh, we we will see that we read in the Bible today, the 12, right? Uh, and then we see the, you know, we're starting to get the characters and get understanding of the different, uh, where the different tribes came from, right? You, you see in the infancy of a nation being built, <laughs> a nation with the father. Amen. I mean, you can't beat it. I love it, you know, and I just want to just encourage you to continue to, to get into it and grow the things of God. Amen. All right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to chapter 46 of Genesis. And like I said, I'm reading. Sometimes I use the Bible experience, especially when you get to those hard words to read and so forth. But uh, so far, I think I think these chapters don't have that challenge. So I think I'll be able to do it. But like I said, when you get into, and then some like when you get into Chronicles uh, and, and some of the other books, you might you might want to use the Bible experience. Uh, but sometimes it's, it's good to just read. And then, because I, I mean, I enjoy 45. When I just read it, I mean, I was I was feeling Joseph give, uh, you know, revealing himself to, to his brothers. And it's like how the Lord reveals himself to us as we continue to grow in the things of God. And then when you read the word of God, you get a revelation of the scriptures, you know. And, and keep in mind, nobody's sitting there saying you're perfect. You need a savior. We all need a savior. And then we need to grow in the things of God. Amen. All right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go into... Uh, Genesis 46. And and I changed the format. Like I hope these I hope these show better on, on the uh on the recording. The the because I what I did is I took it off of the, the book and put it into the uh Word document and made the font bigger. So I'm hoping it'll come up real good. So we'll see. If it don't work, the next thing I do is I make them slides and grow from there. Amen. All right, let's go with this one. This is uh, Genesis 46, starting verse 1. Joseph bring his family to Egypt. All right, verse 1. So Israel, Israel took his journey. Notice they, they interchange that between Joseph and Jacob and, and uh, Jacob and Israel. Uh, they're the same people, right? One is called Israel, and then sometimes called Jacob. Same people, all right, person. So Israel took his journey with all that he had and came to Beersheba and offered sacrifice to God of his father, Isaac. Then God spoke to Israel in the vision of the night and said, Jacob, Jacob. And he said, here I am. So he heard. So he, so he said, I am God, the God of your father. Do not fear or go down to, do not fear to go down to Egypt. For I will make you a great nation there. Amen. And I will go down to with you to Egypt. And I'll also surely bring you up again. And Joseph will put his hands on your eyes. Then Jacob arose from Bathsheba. And the sons of Israel carried their father Jacob, their little ones, and their wives in the cart with Pharaoh has sent to carry him. So they took their livestock in their goods, which they had acquired in the land of Cana, and went to Egypt, Jacob, and all the descendants with him, his sons and his sons' sons, his daughters and his sons' daughters, and all the descendants he brought with him to Egypt. Now these were the names of the children of Israel, Jacob his son, who went to Egypt. 
Reuben was Jacob's firstborn. The sons of Reuben were Hanak, Palu, uh, Hezron, and Carmi. The sons of Simeon were Jemiel, Jamin, Ohad, Jason, Zohar, and Shaul. The sons of the Canaanite woman. Look at that, the Canaanite. They're all in there, right? The sons of Levi were Gershon, Kohath, and Maria. The sons of Judah were Ur, Onah, Shida, Perez, and Zerah. For Ur and Onah died in the land of Cana. The sons of Perez was Hezron and Hamu. The sons of Isaac were Tola, Herba, Her, Ver, Perha, Job, and Shimon. The sons of Zebulon were Sirag, Elon, and Jahiel. These were the sons of Leah, who she bore to Jacob and Padan Haran with his daughter Dana. All the persons, his sons and his daughters, were 33. The sons of Gad were Zephion, Haggai, Shoni, Esbon, Ezri, Aridi, and Ariel, or Ariai. Ari the sons of Asher were Jimna, Ishnu, Ishu, Bira, and Sarah, Sira, their sisters. And the sons of Bira were Heber and Malchaliel. These were the sons of Ziphon, who Levan gave to Leah, his daughter. And these she bore to Jacob, 16 persons. And the sons of Rachel, chosen wife were Joseph and Benjamin. And to Joseph in the land of Egypt were born Manasseh and Ephraim, whom Asina, the daughter of Pati-Pura, priest of On, bore to him. The sons of Benjamin were Vila, Bercher, Ashbel, Gera, Nema, Ehad, Ras, Mupim, Hupim, and Ara. These were the sons of Rachel, who were born to Jacob, 14 sons, 14 persons in all. The sons of Dan was Hushnam. The sons of Nephilim were Jezia, Gurni, Jer'er, and Shemlam. These were the sons of Bila, whom Jake, who Laban gave to Rachel, his daughter, and she bore these to Jacob, seven persons in all. All the persons went with Jacob to Egypt, who came from his body, besides Jacob's sons' wives, were 66 persons in all. And the sons of Joseph, who were born to him in Egypt, were two persons. All the persons in the house of Jacob who went to Egypt were 70. That's the, that's that's amazing, because that's where this, the, the tribe, they walked out about a million of them. They left after, what, 400 some years, I guess. This is subtitle of Genesis 46, uh, Jacob and Joseph reunite. Can you imagine that? Then he sent Judah before him to Joseph to point out before him the way of Goshen. And they came to the land of Goshen. So Joseph made ready his chariot and went up to Goshen to meet his father Israel. And he presented himself to him and fell on his neck and wept on his neck a good while. And Israel said to Joseph, now let me die, since I have seen your face, because you are still alive. Then Joseph said to his brothers and to his father's household, I will go up and tell Pharaoh and say to him, my brothers and those of my father's house who are in the land of Cana have come to me. And the men are shepherds, for their occupation has been to feed livestock, and they have brought their flock their herds, and all that they have. So it shall be when Pharaoh calls you and say, what is your occupation? That you shall say, your servant occupation has been with livestock from our youth, even until now, both we and also our father, that you may dwell in the land of, that you may dwell in the land of Goshen, for every shepherd is an abomination to the Egyptians, which is interesting, right? Um, Joseph's family settles in Goshen. That'll be where we start off next. All right, we'll stop there and we'll pick it up. We'll break it up again. I was just looking, I was realizing here we go. 
Oh, wow. <laughs> I'll get ready. Move on to the next chapter. But you, you, you I, I like the fact that 70 of them, that's how many people went into Egypt. Uh, and like I said, when we get to the Exodus, it's going to be almost a million uh, or more that left. Matter of fact, it was getting to the point where they grew so much that the, the new Pharaoh that came years later and never even knew Joseph <laughs> became concerned about the, the the population that was growing there and his concern was they're going to turn on. So uh, that that's still, I still like the united piece of uh, Jacob or Israel uh, seeing his son, his, look, his beloved son. <laughs> you know, uh, it, it's, it's, it's just the way you could, you can always sense the way God looked at uh Christ, his only begotten son. Amen. He said, This is my son who I'm well pleased. Uh, I can I can only imagine that Jacob felt the same way when he put his eyes on Joseph. And and also the fact is that the famine had four or five more years to go. So his son brought them into a place where they will survive and thrive, and which is what they did too. Amen. God bless that family. So I hope you enjoyed uh, chapter Genesis chapter 46 that we just read. And we're going to go into the next one, be Genesis chapter 47, which you got a glimpse, glimpse of, but we'll see it uh, when we get to it. Amen. All right. God bless you. I thank you for listening. We're going, we're tracking. We're going to read the whole uh, Old Testament. And like I said, sometimes I'm going to use the Bible experience. Because I, I didn't recognize even the ones I just did. It's like it had a whole bunch of names. And I said, oh, that should have been the Bible experience during that reading. <laughs> All right. God bless you. And uh, excuse me for if I mispronounce those words, those names. You know, uh, if you can read them and pronounce them good, you, you, you're a blessing. All right. But the point is that most of us uh, probably don't know how to pronounce those names. So we do the best we can. And the point is... Uh, as you go back, maybe in the in the future, you actually sit there and try to see what the meaning of those names mean. Amen. All right. God bless you, and I'll see you when I see you. Stay blessed. Bye bye. <laughs> this is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you.